America is fat, sick, and out of shape. The good news is healthy habits start at home. We're Joe and Sharon Arangio, and in this episode, we help a husband and wife team of chiropractors lose weight, get strong, and heal their own back pain. Because Healthy Habits Start at Home, we've teamed up with experts to help out-of-shape homebodies transform their homes and renovate their lives. A storm-damaged roof and serious mold problem gives us the opportunity to transform our 20-year-old home into a modern American farmhouse. Do you have the guts to change your body and your life? Storm damage caused a serious leak and a mold problem. We don't want to get sick, so we're fixing our house first. You know who we need to call. My little sister, Julie, the designer? Yes, it's Julie to the rescue. Julie, Sharon said you had some really cool design ideas for the house. I do, Joe. I really want to create a well-defined, modern American farmhouse for you guys. I know you love things clean and simple, and I think it'll be the perfect solution. So I've decided to go with a white, black and gray color scheme, and we'll throw a little warm brown in there too. And we're gonna put white siding on both the sides and the back. You're gonna do an all white house, is that gonna look okay? It will, it'll be simple and clean and modern. The white on white will be subtle, but we have a lot of texture and interesting details in there too. We're gonna contrast the white with a gray roof. We'll do a high gloss finish on our doors, and trim and all the other details, which will really make a striking contrast. My favorite part of the design change will be the front porch. We're gonna add a fourth post, widen all of the posts, and add a standing seam metal roof. It's really gonna drive home that farmhouse style. The only thing left to do then is to refresh the yard with new landscaping and to add a few simple but bold accents to decorate. This seems like a lot of work, so we better get started. I'm ready, let's go. What did you think of Julie's design? You know, I think it's amazing. I'm just not sure about an all white house. Have faith, Jill. Sharon and I decided to do this TV show because we wanted to spread the word about how positive habit changes can help more people get healthy. And feel happier too. I found out I had systemic lupus in my early 20s. It's an unpredictable disease where my immune system literally attacks itself. My neck is often stiff, which causes terrible headaches. And that's why we're on our way to visit doctors Ray and Allison Benedetto. They're chiropractors. Ever since I've been coming to see doctors Ray and Allison, it's helped me so much. We've helped Dr. Ray with his back. Sharon has systemic lupus, a lifelong autoimmune disease where her body attacks itself. Working with Dr. Ray relieves some of Sharon's pain, especially the headaches. Does that feel good? Awesome, thank you. I've been seeing a chiropractor and being treated by one since I'm probably 10, 12 years old because I hurt myself, hurt my back playing football, peewee football. So my whole life, basically, I've had back pain. And he's married to a chiropractor. Yeah, I mean, it's, not like, I, it's not like I wasn't getting chiropractic care. I can honestly say that in the time that we've been working with, with Coach Joe and Sharon, which has been three years now, I don't have back pain. We have a major roof leak, so much water damage. And the water caused a mold problem. And that's taken a big toll on our family's health. Lots of coughing. Why don't we bring in an expert to investigate? So Joe called us out, he just had a really bad storm. Our reports are showing two inch hail and also some very high winds. That kind of hail will definitely damage your roof. Just driving up to Joe's house and hopping out of the truck, we noticed a few things of concern. Yeah. Neil, could you tell us a couple things? Yeah, I came around the corner and, and he's, he's literally got plants growing out of the gutter. Like a full garden. These aren't tree limbs that fell in, these are literally plants growing out of the debris <laughs> that have decomposted in his gutter. <laughs> There's no telling what we're gonna uncover here. After taking a look around the house and hopping up on the roof, we actually pulled back a piece of the siding and noticed there was no house wrap on there. Neil, what do you think about that? Man, I think it's just lazy. It was a builder trying to cut corners, save money, save time, and really at this family's expense. As I was inspecting the gutter on the lower part, I actually scooped out a handful of the, the roof granulars. And to be honest, it's still stuck in my fingernails. 
the damage is so widespread on the shingles, they literally have just deteriorated. OK, guys, tell us, how bad is it? We've got to get on this immediately. Number one, you've got leaks. Number two, you have very high electric bills. There's no Tyvek or insulation behind your siding back there. This could be a huge problem to your energy bill being so high, not keeping warm or cold air in or out. You know, we noticed some concentrated places where there was some mold that can cause serious health issues. We're gonna get on the phone first thing with our suppliers, and we're gonna try to get material out here within 24 to 48 hours. I was shocked when the gutter fell off. I'm glad nobody got hurt. Seems like the roof and gutters need help. There are just so many problems with the house. Today, Ray and Allison are coming in for their 45-minute body maintenance program. Training smart a few times a week keeps them lean and strong and helps to manage the stress of life. About three years ago now, my mom was diagnosed with a metastatic cancer and passed away within six months. So that really, really hit me hard. It was about three months after, I saw a picture of myself and I just said, man, I'm like, I look terrible. I mean, I had to make some major changes and it had to happen right away. With my health, I was having trouble getting outside my comfort zone, to be honest with you. It's easy to just be maybe 10 pounds heavier, a little chunky, and that comfort zone would kind of keep me uh, even trapped in other areas of my life. Just wasn't getting it done. The honeydew list was really long, and nothing ever get, just got checked done. off that list. But that's not the case now. <laughs> I hope not. What other style of exercise boosts your metabolism so you burn calories 24-7? Resistance training is the new fountain of youth. Our ultimate goal is to help you slow the aging process because you can't reverse aging. Making these changes definitely improved you know, our, our relationship and, and my mood <laughs> and, and how I was with our kids. You know, I was more mindful, more attentive to them, you know, just having more fun with them. We're going to put ourselves in a position to be as healthy as we can be. We can at least stack the deck in our favor so our kids wouldn't have to go through losing a parent like that. Sharon is spending the afternoon with Allison to teach her how to prepare a week's worth of healthy and delicious meals in just a few hours. So today we're going to have a little recipe here. It's very simple, but fun. Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, and what Giovanna, our eight-year-old, calls chicken on the bone. Mm, sounds awesome. All right, let's get started. Sounds good. The reason why I cut them in half is it just cooks so much better in the middle. If you don't cut them in half, it'll be a little bit mushy. Roasting them is so much better than boiling them or microwaving them. I think that is like a sin. You should not do that. I like to use the olive oil again, so it's just really easy. There's no propellants in this one, so super healthy. Try to get both sides nice and crispy. That makes such a big difference, especially to, you know, the little picky eaters. Right. Oh, for sure. I like to put a little olive oil on top and set the oven to 400 and keep them in there. Again, 20 minutes, flip them 20 minutes more, and then they'll be this nice crispy golden brown and you'll be ready. Okay, now that we have our chicken, I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder, super simple, and Himalayan pink salt, which will give it a little bit of sweetness that other salts really just don't provide. Layer them on your baking sheet so they can be ready to go in the oven. for the fun part of putting the meals together. You start with your lean protein. You're making vegetables and lean meat, that's it. You have all your meals prepared for the week. So you're avoiding fast food, you're avoiding going into a convenience store, grabbing something that's not gonna be healthy at all, mm -hmm. but making that choice that's easy now that your all of your meals are prepared for you. Joe, what is it you say about rest? 
You work your muscles in the gym, but your body gets healthy when you rest and relax. I say we take the kids to a baseball game for a little rest and relaxation. Love a good baseball game. When we're working with our clients and we're coaching all of our athletes, we work real hard for about 12 weeks. So about three months we're working hard. That last week, week 13, is called active rest. And what are we doing during active rest? Going to Coca-Cola Park. <laughs> Going to Coca-Cola Park to watch the Iron Pigs game. And they were so cool to invite us and to hang out and see the guys play. Big demo day today. We're stripping off the hail damaged roof, siding, and gutters. Sharon, why did the roofer go to the doctor? I have no idea. Because he had a bad case of the shingles. Just stop. Gentlemen, Neil, Ben, you guys are here. Your crew showed up 15 minutes ahead of time. Complete professionals. Materials are already on site. I'm so excited to get rid of these problems. Guys, let's get going. Let's do it. I couldn't believe how bad this area was. You know, it was all around this main window in the back. Obviously, there's no house wrap. This window has been leaking probably since day one when this house was finished. Joe, since we've got so much damage on this on this chimney, I'm curious to see what this insulation looks like behind here. Me too. So this is the last, last nail. Oh. <laughs> After we tore back the rotten wood, we noticed that the insulation had gotten wet also, and basically everything from that transition down needed to be fully replaced. I can't believe how much mold they found. I know, it was everywhere. The way that we're gonna we're gonna proactively, you know, prevent these other things from happening is if you come over here, we're gonna we're gonna install this house wrap, which he's he's putting on right now. That's that's an obvious layer of protection for your wood. Right, and so on top of that, we've got the new insulation boards going up. That's going to increase your R value. It's going to it's going to cut down on your cost on electricity. You've got essentially two more layers of protection for your home, which is going to make it last a lot longer. Final day of construction begins right now. It's going to be a big relief once the moldy wood has been replaced. The roof is way out of date. It's a it's a 25 year old shingle. I mean, this stuff is is literally just it, it will just crumble in your hands. We're gonna tear off these old 25 year shingles and go back with a 50 year Owens Corning duration shingle. This is gonna drastically increase the protection on their home. This is a top of the line roofing system, and I call it a roofing system because it all works together from the ventilation to the felt to the starter strip. All these products work together. And if we, if we move down not very far, we've replaced the gutters and all of the custom fascia metal. I mean, we have to, we have to literally set up our brake in the backyard to bend this trim to, to get it right. And, and underneath that, I'm gonna let Ben talk about the siding. That's, that's his expertise. Our seamless gutter machine is actually parked out here in the driveway to print the yep. gutters on site so that they're super clean, going full lengths. You won't see any seams throughout the project. Now going down into the siding, of course, tearing off the old without any house wrap, it was a pretty easy demo, but we went back with the house wrap, a water moisture barrier, and also an insulation board to keep any, any warm or cold air in or out. And we also went back with a, an upgraded vinyl product, the board and batten system, a single eight inch panel, and a double four inch panel. I believe they've got a pretty good upgrade on everything yeah, now. They've literally got three different types of siding on the back of their house. When you can improve the quality of a product, the way, a, the way a product looks on the home and the efficiency of a product all in at one time, that's, that's a win-win-win to me. Wow, that was a ton of work. I've got newfound respect for the roofers and the siders. They made our house healthy. We had a pretty big rain recently. Our yard looked like a koi pond. Why don't I stop by the pet store? I could pick up a couple of koi fish. I think the kids will absolutely love it. Joe, seriously, the water is against our house. I'm hoping that Danny and the landscaping experts can help us out. Danny, we've created a pretty amazing outdoor oasis here. The only problem is it's not private. You can see right into the neighbor's yard. I suggested a fence, 
And you said you wanted to do a different type of fence. Yes, exactly. I, my father always said, a good fence makes a good neighbor. We say a good green fence makes a good neighbor. Introducing the Noise spruce. This will grow full, uh, it'll give you privacy, and it's all natural. This is the leather leaf viburnum. My guys just put it in. And if, if you see, if you feel this texture of this leaf, it's actually a really great feature of it. This leaf stays here year round. It, it attracts actually uh, birds and butterflies. Love birds and butterflies. First, I'll be taking care of Joe's downspouts. I'll be adding extensions to the downspouts, getting the water away from the foundation of the home. I tidied up the compost pile. It was a bit of a mess, and I added straw bales around the sides to create a barrier to separate the environment and compost. For the landscaping, I created a nice edge to separate the mulch from the turf. Mulch gets into the turf, it makes the grass die. Not only does it aesthetically look good, but it has a purpose. From there, I freshened up the plants, and then I also separated some plants that got a little bit too large, and I've used them in other places in the landscaping. I'm a little concerned that the big trees near our house are dropping a ton of stuff into the gutters, clogging everything. The trees are so big and beautiful, maybe the tree experts can prune them away from the house. Hey, the spruce could use a little sprucing up. It's a little close to the house. Number one, your gutters will get clogged. Number two, the roof, it won't get enough sun. The roof life will be cut short. We just gotta kind of contain it and keep it healthy. Wow, did you see how easy the tree experts climb the trees? I know, they rolled up to the house looking like some crazy heavy metal band. Brad and Samantha are real sweethearts. And our trees got a much needed haircut. After a coaching session, Ray and Allison usually rush off to work, but today they decided to end their workout with a fun challenge. You know, I bet I can do more rope climbs than you. I doubt it. Can I make it interesting? Yes, I like that. How about uh, winner gets dinner tonight? Okay, I could go with that. However, the loser gets to cook dinner. Oh, I like it. Okay, I like so it. Uh, get that apron on because you're going to be cooking <laughs> Let's for do me. It. Let's do it. All right, Let's go. you're on. This should be interesting because both of you are expert rope climbers. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go. If I needed one word to describe how I feel now, it would be fantastic. Yeah. I mean, literally, like, Fantastic. Three, two, one, and time. Ooh, nice work. It's gonna be a tough number to beat. Ah, I got this. I feel proud of myself, of all the hard work uh, that I've been putting in. I'm proud in. too. I mean, it's, it's really paid off. Yep. But I feel so good. I feel so healthy. I feel so strong. lot of difficult things to get here. That's the crazy thing. It's small changes that make huge, huge results. Just follow the plan, follow the blueprint. Yeah. I'm so proud of Allison and Ray's progress. You no, know, they've each lost over 10 pounds of body fat and you know what that means. New wardrobe? Well, I guess, but I was thinking that their newfound lean and muscular bodies are just gonna make them happier. Let's celebrate with a day of family fun at Dorney Park. You can go on roller coasters all day. <laughs> I, I know. It's just, you feel, you feel so much better. Yep. You can run up these hills, no problem, just because we feel lighter. We can keep up with the kids. You're not worn out. You're not out of breath. You're not feeling like you want to go home and take a nap. Bring on the coasters. We had an absolute blast at Dorney Park. Joe, are you feeling okay after all those spinning rides? I, I'm not going to lie. I felt a little bit unsteady after the <laughs> teacups. I have a big surprise for Sharon and the kids. They're gone for the day at practice, so I got a couple hours to myself. Our kids really love playing in the trees in our backyard. They call it the Enchanted Forest. Problem is, there's a real busy street behind the house. Here we are with a beautiful tree line in a backyard. What do we do? There's two choices. We either cut the trees down or we put the fence between the trees in the tree line. I thought it would be a unique situation to use Western Red Cedar because Western Red Cedar doesn't rot and it doesn't attract insects. 
What we accomplish by doing this is, one, we get security for the backyard, and two, we hide the road and the truck traffic. Hal's fence solution worked perfectly. The kids love it because they can still climb their trees, and we love the added privacy. Just like a house, your body requires maintenance work if you want to be lean, strong, and happy. Our home's modern farmhouse transformation looks fantastic. It's important to take a moment to reflect on all of the positives in your life. Folks occasionally concentrate too much on little things, like the terrible traffic or rainy day, but you have to make gratitude a daily habit. I'm thankful to have a career that allows me to help others live a better quality of life. I'm thankful to live in the greatest country in the world, and I am thankful for my beautiful wife, Sharon. She's truly been my co-pilot. I'm thankful for our kids, Giovanna and George, and our wonderful family. You see, happiness comes from gratitude. It comes from being grateful. It comes from believing you have all that you need. Are you ready for the home body challenge? We're looking for folks who have at least 10 pounds of body fat to lose. Because if you want to be a better parent, a better spouse, or a better boss, you must take care of yourself first. We'll give you a proven system to follow and the tools you need to get the job done. Get ready to learn how smart workouts, healthy habits help you achieve a total body renovation. And our team of experts transforms one area of your house to jumpstart your healthy habits for life. If you have at least 10 pounds of body fat to lose and you have the guts and determination to change your life forever, you can get started right now for free at arangio.com.